Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. Do not run away. This is me without makeup. So in today's video, we are going to focus on a drugstore brand today, and it is from L'Oreal, and it's called the Unbeliever Brow. So this is $13.99 at Target, and at Ulta, it's like around... $16.99 or something like that, but it's way more expensive at Ulta. I'm like, what? I'm like, why though? But uh, if you ever decide to grab it at Ulta, definitely just use your coupon or wait for the buy one, get one half off. You know the drill. If you always shop at Ulta, they always make these crazy ass deals. So they do have five colors. So let's go ahead and start. Let's open it up. I got the shade Dark Brunette. And by the way, this was sent to me by my influencer box. So if you guys do not know what influencer is, just um, sign in. You don't have to be famous or anything like that. And you would just take some surveys. Mind you that it almost took me a year before I start receiving something from them for me to review. So this is the latest one that I have received from my influencer box. Ooh. Okay, I actually expected something like a little tinier, but as you can see, this is big. This is ginormous. It is 4.5 ml. A lot of people are saying that this is most likely comparable to Wonder Brow, but uh, honestly, I haven't tried Wonder Brow, so let's see. I'm going to let you guys know if it really does its job because it says here, waterproof, smudge proof, no transfer, and sweat resistant. It says 93% uh, agreed it has good wear and 82% it says agreed resist a rego. And it also comes with an applicator. Let me inspect it. You know me, I love brushes that make sense in a package. So it is very thin. It's super thin. Almost like John Dre though. So when John Ray goes sideways, I can barely see him. Same thing to this one. <laughs> Just kidding. So I really love the fact that it's thin. Some people may like it, some people don't. I like it because it gives me more position. And then the spoolie. The spoolie is in good quality. Hmm. I'm not complaining. I think this is pretty good. And then the applicator on this one. It doesn't have any weird smell. It looks like a doe foot applicator. It actually legitimately smells like a liquid lipstick. I'm not even kidding. Like it literally smells like a liquid lipstick. What if this is just like a liquid lipstick formula and they just put it right here? <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna prep my skin and let's start. Since I'm gonna start with my brows anyway, I'm just gonna zoom you guys in. Don't get scared, don't run away. All right. Can the camera focus? Okay. So I'm gonna start by grabbing some product from the brush. Just so because I don't wanna like go ham on that right away. Some people like that, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna grab some product from this applicator and just go from there. I felt, I, I feel like I'm the only person that has not tried Wonder Bell, like I swear. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm gonna grab some more. I like that the color doesn't look awkward. This is weird. You know, this is like a weird formula. It's not, it's not opaque, okay? Don't expect it to be like opaque from the very beginning. Probably because I'm doing it gradual, but even if, it's not really that opaque. Which some people may like, because some people just like natural looking makeup. So I think that's perfect in my eyes. 
because I know somebody out there is gonna say like, oh my gosh, you did your your brows like the, you know you can't you can't win, okay? If you are planning to be a YouTuber, expect the worst comments and don't cry about it because. Okay, on this side, let me try the applicator, and if I make a boo-boo, that's all on me. Just want to try it out. Okay, okay, here it goes. That's actually not bad. It's actually pretty easy. So if you want, what you can do is that you can make an outline first and then fill it in. But the thing about this one, guys, is that you have to be mindful of the time that before it dries out because once it dries, you know, usually waterproof ones, once, once it dries, it's going to last till the end of time. I don't know about this one, though, so... So now that my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and complete my whole makeup for today and then I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. So obviously my brows are completely dry. So once this dries, you can't really make any changes. All you can ever do is add some product, but combing it itself is actually pretty hard. So I try not to because I feel like it's going to crumple or something like that. So. To me, if you have a full set of brows, if it's already groomed, I think you can just use the, the spoolie. Where's the applicator? I can't find it. So I can think you can just grab a spoolie and then just grab some product and do it like that and then comb through your brows. I think that will work as well. So what we're going to do right now is that we are going to test these, uh, um, test this brow product. It is 8.58. And then I will be back at the end of the day. I will be doing some check-ins if I feel like there are any changes or something like that. So, yeah. Okay, before I go, I just want you guys to see what it looks like up close. There's a part here in my brow that is like sparse. So what I did is just I just grabbed a little bit of tint and put a little bit of product over there. So, yeah. Details. Of course, I don't want you guys to like... You didn't even show us up close, so I can't really tell. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Hi guys, so I am back. Time check, it is 7.54. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so that you can see what the brows look like after more than 8 hours. It is looking good, guys. Wow, that is amazing. First of all, I am very happy with the longevity of this product. I think the color is amazing. The choice of color selection is good. So probably in the future, if this becomes a huge hit, then they will expand the color range. But other than that, it is pretty damn good. So we do have a checklist right over here. It says it's waterproof. Now I do have a cotton ball here that is soaked with water. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to gently rub that in over my brow to see if it really is waterproof. So, no smudge, no transfer, and sweat resistant. So I didn't sweat today because it was raining, but of course we're still going to do the water and then we're going to smudge it a little bit and see if it really does smudge or not. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's do the smudge test first. Wow, guys. Okay, I see you. Okay. Okay, let me not do that, like, roughly. So if you really put a lot of pressure, which I think nobody would even do that realistically, a little bit comes off, but it did stay. Not to mention that my face is really oily. A little bit comes off. Look at that. But that's only if you put, like, a lot of pressure. You know what I mean? To the point that it kind of hurts you a little bit. Now let me use the cotton with water. Oh wow, that's good. See that? 
Okay, now I'm gonna give you guys my overall thoughts. So as you guys have seen, it will only smudge if, if you put a lot of pressure into it, but other than that, I am convinced with this product. <laughs> This might be my product of the year for my brows, but I definitely do love it. You can use it as your brow gel, you can use it as your like, kind of like pomade, I guess. But one thing that you do have to keep in mind is that if you know to yourself that you are precise when it comes to doing your brows, then definitely go ahead and do this one. Use the brush that comes with it, or if you just want like a, like a pretty quick touch up with your brows, you can just dip this which is the spoolie and then go through your you know brow hair like that and everything will turn out like beautiful and perfect I love this product I am so convinced I'm gonna give you guys my go signal just in case you guys are interested so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video bye don't forget to subscribe okay